Welcome to Heat Check. This is the top 10 highest selling vintage denim items on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's dig in to the list. All right, coming in at number 10, we have this vintage 501 EE Big E Selvage denim 30 by 32 red line jeans. Take a look here, the patch looks really good. Looks like we have like only a few washes on this particular pair of jeans. 100% uh, cotton in USA, like we would see. Here is the Big E. Let's look around. I wanna see, I'm guessing this is uh, probably uh, late 60s, probably between like 67 and 71 or so, maybe even, I don't even see it, I can't see the V stitch on this. Um, but that would be my guess here in this case, uh, considering the, the price it went for as well. Uh, it does appear to me that it is uh, from that era. So, uh, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I don't see a V stitch. Looks like we are in that 67, there's no hidden rivets or anything like that. So 67 to, to 71 type range. Uh, this one sold for $1,125 with 26 bids. Uh, super cool pair of jeans. We see this one pretty regularly, but still nice to see these beautiful colors. At number nine, we have this 1960s Big E Selvage denim jeans, another probably 501, I'm guessing. I'm guessing, yeah, there's the buttons. Uh, it looks like you have kind of have a V-stitch uh, going there. Uh, maybe it's come out or wasn't all, didn't go all the way up, which was not uncommon to see that. Um, these look like they're in fantastic condition. Lots of deep blues on this one. Uh, really impressive, to be honest. Uh, it does appear as the, you can see the offset, uh, offset belt loop. So we're probably looking at more like the early to mid. Uh, if I'm if I'm remembering all correctly, we have the hidden rivets. Yeah. So this is definitely this. It kind of strikes me as a, a pretty decent deal here. Um, the size is a little bit smaller, some of the more small size, so it's not necessarily the, the best wearable pair. Uh, but for the condition that they're in, um, the color that's left in them, uh, it's pretty nice, pretty good. Uh, this one did sell for twelve hundred and fifty dollars. Uh, beautiful pair of jeans. Then at number eight, we have this Type Two Biggie denim jacket. Here we have this pretty regularly on this list. I'm not. I'm gonna guess this is probably a smaller size. Looks like it's generally in pretty good condition. It doesn't seem like there's any major issues or wear. Let's look around. There's the rivet on the sleeve. Let's see where the measurements at here. Yeah, pit to pit. We're looking at like 36 here on this guy. Uh, so quite small, which does uh, reflect in the price. This one also sold for $1,250. Now at number seven, we see a Carhartt like this every once in a while. We have this apparently 1930s Carhartt chore coat. I'm not entirely sure that that's accurate. It uh, would be pretty cool to see, but uh, we're gonna go for it with it right now. But uh, Sanfordized, because I think Sanfordization even just came out like in the late, I think it officially came out in the late, what, like 37, something like that. Uh, so. This would be pretty early for a Sanfordization. Uh, it would have to be in the late 30s in that case if it's Sanfordized, which I think that's the, 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 the label says there. But really super cool chore coat here. Uh, either way, it's a pretty old Carhartt garment. Uh, we have seen some of these Carhartt garments go for a bit of money uh, on this list as of late. Uh, this one is no exception. This one went for $1,400. Then we have a Type 2 at number 6. Uh, often, again, we're going to see a lot of these Type 2s all the time just because it's the way it is. This one's got some wear on the top uh, collar there. Uh, wear all around. I mean, there's a little bit of wear here and there and everywhere. Uh, let's take a look. Uh, what's the measurements on this one? This one, we're looking at a little bit of a bigger size, like a 42, 44 maybe. Uh, so uh, definitely going to affect the price, and it certainly did. Um, some loose stitching here and there, uh, but all in all, really great type two. This one that sold for $1,700. All right, then at number five, we have a 501ZXX. This one looks really interesting. Big E, 3232. They say paper tag. That's probably a, not the best way to describe this. Uh, the tag, I assume they're referring to the patch back here on the back which looks like it is uh maybe only ever been washed once if that um, this one looks like a great 
Uh, a great piece, the 501Z double X, every garment guaranteed. Uh, let's see, we have that offset, a belt loop. Uh, what else we got going on here? Of course, the 501Z does have a zipper and it looks like uh, some sort of, ta uh, not a talon, uh, uh, I don't think that's a grip or zipper, but it could be. Uh, anyway, you have the hidden rivets in there too. Is that correct? Am I seeing hidden rivets? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really beautiful pair. So, uh, and a perfect size, 32, 32. Really, really uh, good size here. Let's see if they have any measurements. They say waist to hem, 32. So uh, maybe this is 32, so maybe you never washed. I don't know. It looks like it may have gone through one wash. Has a little bit of wear, but this is a really good deal. Um, it did sell for $1,750, uh, so really great deal on a be an exceptionally beautiful pair of jeans. Then at number four, you know if it's dead stock, it's going to be high on the list. And here we have a pair of 501s that are dead stock. They are obviously shrink to fit. Little Lee, so these are probably from, let's take a look and see if they have a tag. I imagine they do. They do. 3432 great size these are from 1978 they probably don't even have um they're probably not even single stitch in the back pocket either um but this is a golden this is a golden ticket when it's dead stock like this and has all the hangers and stuff you're going to get a good price and they certainly did they got 1800 dollars for this particular pair of 501s from 1978 now at number three, we've been seeing some of these uh, off and on more recently here. We have the 1930s U.S. Army denim pullover jacket. Look at this. What a interesting piece. This is like uh, almost kind of poncho-esque. I assume these are pockets uh, right there. Uh, what an interesting piece. We have those U.S. Army buttons. Those are really, really cool. Yeah, these are like pockets. It's a weird place to put pockets, but... All right, I'll, <laughs> we'll just go with it, I guess. Um, these garments can be all kinds of different ways because they're constructed in so many different ways. Uh, it's hard to say. Something costume company? It's probably Jester Costume Company, maybe is what it says. Uh, was the manufacturer. Let's see if it says it down here. No, Western Costume Company. Uh, pretty interesting. Um, oh, it was used in costumes. Okay, that's what. Okay, maybe, not manufactured by Western Costume Company. It was purchased and used by them and probably in some sort of movie or something like that what a super cool piece right here uh these have been we've been seeing stuff like this go for pretty good money and we certainly see it here this one did go for 1925 dollars at number two we have this uh supposedly 1910 dark blue denim work jacket but this is probably from the 1920s according to my sources and uh, is uh, most likely a prisoner uh, jacket. Uh, it does appear to be dead stock. They do say here, I mean, it dead stock looks like it really is in immaculate condition. Uh, these photos aren't the best. They're a little bit hard to sort of get an idea of really the condition. Uh, but so you can see the selvage on the insides of these things. Super cool piece. There are the buttons there. Uh, there's the flannel on the inside. Would be really cool to find one of these things. Wish I could do it, but I have not yet been able to find one. But still super cool, definitely a cool piece of history. This one sold for $2,500, which is, seems like a little bit crazy, but uh, we've been seeing some stuff like this go for this amount of money more recently. Uh, but it does make it at number two. Then at number one, of course it is, it's gonna be a type one. Uh, this is just not that uncommon to see. Uh, we have a pretty nice and pretty beautiful type one here. Uh, there's the one pocket with the flap. So this is on the late, the latter half of that uh, Type 1 era. Looks like it's in great condition. Uh, what I'm guessing, you know, let's see. Let's see what this show the size. The size here is probably going to really make a difference. And it is a bigger size, size 40. Not the biggest of sizes, but we're looking more like 40 here across the chest, which is a good deal. Uh, so that's right around what I would have expected uh, for a size 40. So uh, really nice type one denim trucker jacket. And this one sold for $3,100. And that was the heat check this week. Thanks for watching. Check out heat checks every Tuesday uh, when we check out the top 10 highest selling t-shirts and denim.